you know, Active Directory is, well, essentially it was designed for enterprise IT as it existed in the, in the 1990s. And the threat model that we had to deal with um, at that time was, it was entirely different from what we're dealing with today. Uh, in, back in the 90s, what we were mostly concerned about were physical failures, either a data center uh, burning down or somebody running a backhoe over a fiber. Um, and then also insider threats, you know, in, internal users who, who were trying to cause some, uh, maliciously cause some damage to the IT enterprise. And that model has um, entirely changed. In fact, there, there was a quote, I don't know who came up with this quote, I don't know if it was one of our customers or maybe someone inside some Paris, uh, but the basic idea was uh, that your AD environment is a 22 year old history of bad choices, which, which is totally true because uh, if you look at the way most uh, Active Directory environments have evolved over the years, you know, they started out with one, one architectural approach and one sort of deployment um, discovered that that didn't really work, and then over time migrated to something else, and then um, outsourced their their uh, Active Directory management uh, to people who weren't really very savvy about Active Directory, and then pulled Active Directory management back in. And um, over time, what's happened is Active Directory has become a um, complicated mess uh, inside most organizations quite often managed by people who are just not that familiar with it. And uh, that's been borne out in practice uh, by the fact that roughly 90% of cyber attacks uh, that are uh, investigated involve Active Directory in some form, either as the initial attack vector or uh, you know, through, through compromised credentials. Um, or it's used as part of the attack, uh, certainly for reconnaissance, because Active Directory is, is uh, you know, a great repository of information uh, about all of the computing resources that are available. So one of the first things attackers do is they go look at Active Directory to figure out what, what are all the servers and what are all the endpoints that they might want to compromise. Then it's also used for escalation of privilege and lateral movement through the organization and ultimately uh, the place to go to maintain persistence in the, or in the, uh, in the uh, IT environment. So that's where they'll put um, rogue accounts and backdoor accounts uh, and alter group memberships to grant themselves uh, privileges uh, in the Active Directory environment. And if you take a step back, um, you know, we understand now that Active Directory is is sort of the central vulnerability point in 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 the uh, hybrid identity environment. If you take a step back and look at the geopolitical environment that we're working with now, there are dozens of threat actors that are sponsored by government, so state act state sponsored threat actors that are generally antagonistic to Western countries and don't just have a financial interest. 